What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and dudes, there's some crazy shit going on with Splatoon right now. Some of you do sent me this earlier in the day, and I wanted to report on this earlier, but I had to do a little bit more information searching to find out exactly what the details were, and we found out in this video footage as well, too. You've seen from the title, someone managed to hack Splatoon to be able to get white ink in the game, but it's not limited to white ink either. It's a lot of other color variations as well, too. Let's take a look at exactly what the hell is going on here. So here we go. Kevin Cassidy, he sent me this a little while ago, and we are about to go in here. This is my first time looking at the article, per se. I found video, but first time looking at the article, so let's take a look at this right now and um, see some details. I found that, I saw that, I didn't see the video, but I found the video, so we were going to see the video for the first time as well, too. But here we go, hackers working to change Splatoon's ink colors. Crazy shit right now. Um, Alright, so apparently this isn't really an article, it's more of just the video that I had found myself, too. A big shout out goes to this guy, NW Player12345. I'm not sure if he was the one that discovered this. He probably was. And now that I can reload and replace files, I thought I would have a little fun. So obviously, this man is the one behind this. Considering that Splatoon didn't really allow you to use certain colors for obvious reasons, they didn't want you to use red because it would look like blood, obviously. And they didn't want you to use white because it looks like semen, if you don't understand the hidden joke, I mean. But at this point, if you don't understand the joke, then you should probably get the hell off of my channel. But there's a lot of colors that were forbidden. But apparently this guy has hacked the game where you can use multiple colors that aren't allowed in Splatoon normally. I don't know the details of this, but I'm very curious to see exactly what they are. So I'm going to grab my headphones here and we're going to get into this, man. I haven't seen this video yet. Like I said, all I really saw in terms of the um, ink being a different color is this screenshot of white ink right here. So... We are about to go into this together. Once again, this video, and you know, as usual with all my videos, every single bit of information that I cover in this will be linked in the description below, so you can go there to check it out as well, too. Man, you know what? It's funny, because a lot of people were, like, making jokes upon those different ink colors, and, you know, I know they're just, like, satire. People didn't really take it seriously, but now that you really can use white ink, I wonder if it feels a little bit strange in terms of, like, the context and the way that it's thrown around, you know? Like, would it feel weird to use white ink or red ink? We're about to find out ourselves. The video is 11 minutes long, so you might not watch the whole thing on my channel, but it'll be in the description. So, you know, if you don't get the whole thing here right now, you can definitely go to the description, check the video out, give it a like, tell them Etika sent you. But for now, let's get into this, man. So what we're going to do is pause the music I have going on here. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Um, and now we are going to go into the video. So let's... We'll do this. The interesting part about this is that it seems like it's only really able to be done on single player mode. I'm not 100% sure. And this is so far a regular ink color. Like, we know this color, right? I think we know this color. Nothing special. Let me raise the volume a little bit. Squid. All right, here we go, white ink. So, um, yeah, there we go. I've never played the story mode, actually, so this is like a first-time experience for me seeing this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play the story mode, probably. I mean, I know you can get certain weapons like that, but I don't really care about the arrow spray too much. Um, crazy stuff, man. So you can change the ink color. I wonder how much you're able to do. Um, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, so he goes through the whole mission with just this new ink color. It's not exactly white per se, but rather more of like a, a really light, light, light blue. Like a super, super white blue, basically. It's a cool looking color, though. I like it. I, I like it a lot, to be honest. And it doesn't really look as much a semen as you would expect. I think it's a cool color. To be honest with you guys, I kind of I kinda like the idea of being able to change the ink color to whatever you want. Or implementing your own color as well, too. Because it'll be color that only you can see on your console, right? So if I'm only seeing the color on my console, then therefore, no one else will be forced to see that. So if they don't want to go around looking like blood is all in the battlefield, they won't have to be subjected to that. Because I'm playing it on my console with my color hack, it's fine. Whether you can, and you know, I feel like Nintendo should implement that. Implement the ability to change the color to whatever you want, and at the same time, you know, don't make it so it's forced on everybody else, but rather only I see the color. It's a little bit crazy, but um, it's, it's a cool idea, though. And it would really open up the world of Splatoon to more user-friendly features, where a lot of people do complain a little bit. You know, Splatoon doesn't really have 
the level of optimization or rather customization that you would desire. I mean, they have like the clothing, which is definitely deep in customization, but they don't have they don't have like, you know, custom loadouts or whatever, things like that, you know? Let's fast forward a bit more. See if there's any other option for color. All right, so here we have pure white. Now that there we go. Now that looks like nut. That looks like nut. The motion controls are throwing me off, by the way. I don't. I mean, the way how fast it's moving with the motion controls definitely fucking with me, man. Um, yeah. Now that looks a lot like semen. Big time. And they have black ink. Do they have black ink? No, 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 they don't. Oh, they do! Wait, they have clear ink. Do the Octoling do the Octolings have clear ink? Or is it black ink? I can barely tell from how this fucking camera's moving with the with the tablet, but um Let me see here. Really cool stuff, dude. Of course, I'm curious to see if this is possible for an average Joe like myself who doesn't really necessarily have access to those um, hacking tools like that. Probably not. Yeah, that definitely looked like nut. I can't even lie, man. I mean, it's not it's, 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 it's not that bad, to be honest. But yeah, it definitely looks a little bit odd to the eyeball. Especially when you see like the splatters on the ground, like the little splats of paint on the ground. It's like, uh, yeah, it looked like somebody had an accident, man. A little pre-jack. Hey, that squid bag. Hey. Let's see if there's any other colors that he uses. Oh, really, dude? That's disgusting. He creamed the old man. He said, I don't make as much ink as I used to, but this is plenty for me. <laughs> Damn, man. And the, the tree looked like it just got nut. Everything just got nutted on. Everything got nutted on. This man is not holding back. Are we going to see the color red? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But I'm um, still very interesting video. We gotta check out the comments because they're probably gonna be fucking hilarious. So let's go into this right now, actually. Um, and, oh, and let's put on our background music. Um, let me just turn this here. Okay, so you know, white ink not as bad as I thought it would be initially. Um, it, it, it's kind of a cool concept, actually. I really love the idea of being able to change the ink color to whatever I want, man. What do you guys think? You gotta let me know in the comments what you think about that. The, uh, the, the ability to change the ink color to whatever you want in multiplayer, other people wouldn't be able to see it, but it would just be you. It would give some really cool variation to the game, and maybe make for some really eye-catching gameplay when you're uploading your game footage to YouTube or whatever, because you know, you're using a color that not everyone else is using. Especially considering that you would have color combinations like black and white. Black ink? Why wasn't that done, you know? I think that could look really cool. But um, let's, let's let's look at some more detail here with the comments. How do you do this? The magic of loading custom files. I just had it to I just had to edit a few text files. I saw him say that a little earlier actually, and I was curious as to what he meant because you know these hackers they get so goddamn good at what they do that sometimes they forget that the thing that they find easy is complex as hell for us normal people. Um, let me see here. The video doesn't really have that much exposure, 666 views, so this guy's clearly Satan himself to be able to hack the game like this. Definitely go show the video some love if you want to see the full thing. I skipped ahead because obviously we ain't got time for all that, but I mean still, we get the point. Um, white ink from Marie, you get a thumbs up my friend. Love it, yes indeed. So these colors are in the game or did you modify your game to use them? Obviously it's a modification. So here's what he did. I loaded a custom file to change them to this, and all it is is just a bunch of text files. And then, um, does the fourth attribute align the transparency? It should, but it doesn't. Transparency doesn't work. I tried. Oh, really? How are you able to replace the files? This sounds interesting. Check out some of his other videos. Okay, so this guy has, this guy has tutorials of other, like, this guy, does he have, like, a tutorial thing going on? Where you can basically hack whatever the hell you want? Well, you know what? I'm going to um, subscribe to this dude, because obviously he knows his shit. Especially if he has an account on GBA Temp. These guys have a really, really fresh, dynamic, deep hacking community, and I, you know, I was part of GBA Temple a little while ago, but I just couldn't keep up with 
You know, I mean, I just couldn't keep up. Hacking isn't really my thing. Data mining, not my forte. But there's other people that do it a lot better, and this guy is definitely one of them. Shout out to NW Player. Check him out in the description, and let me know what you think about the whole color hack thing. And if you feel like it should be an option to be able to change the color to whatever you want, was the white ink as sexual for some of you as I think it might have been? Let me know in the comments, and I'll tell it to you in the next video. My friends, take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.